Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern Team and Keller Williams here again for another Stern Team Market Minute. So one of the questions we get asked all the time is about capital gains. For preliminary, what is capital gains? Well, simply put, capital gains is the amount of money that you made on the sale of a property. Okay, that's it. So you sold it for two, uh, $500,000 and you bought it for $200,000, you have $300,000. Okay, and that is subject to capital gains. So let's talk about capital gains specifically as it relates to an investment property. Okay, so let's talk about the rule of one. And that is simply put, if you're an investor and you have a rental property and have owned it for less than a year, you are gonna be taxed on what is called short-term capital gains. And that's gonna be taxed at what your normal income is. Okay, so it uh, could be quite, quite high. Now, if you've owned that property and you've been in there or you've had tenants in there for uh, over a year, then you're going to be subject to long-term capital gains, and that is going to be taxed at a lower bracket than your normal income, and, and that's good, okay? But we're trying to save you as much money as possible. That just brings me to my second point, and that is uh, what we call uh, the two of five, or I call it if you've lived in your home for two of the five years and now it's a rental property. So for example, you bought it five years ago, but the first two years you lived in it as a, as a primary residence before you turned it into an income property, well, now you're going to get a break from the government. And the break is this. If your equity is $250,000 or less, if you're single, then you get a tax break and you're not paying capital gains. Or if you're married or it's a joint uh, partnership and you've got equity up to $500,000 or less, that's also going to be um, waived and uh, not taxed. And so government's giving you those two things to look at uh, in terms of saving money. The third piece when it comes to a rental property, should you decide to sell it, is what we call a 1031 exchange. This is really just taking the sale proceeds and applying it to another light property, right? So you're taking that, uh, let's call it the $300,000 that you made, and you're putting it to a uh, apples to apples light property. In that case, the government doesn't tax you on that $300,000. In essence, you're kicking the count down the road, um, but the idea is that hopefully uh, down the road taxes are a little bit less so got any questions on capital gains give me a call text or email me i'd love to help you.